So, uh, what are we gonna do? I don't know anymore. <laughs> it gets worse anyway. He's making yourself confused now. Hey, Internet, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of The Tra Hype Train. The Hype Train. Choo choo! Oh. With all of the trailers that have been coming out this week, this time we're checking out Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, the second trailer. Which obviously, do you know when the trailers work out? First trailer comes in, right? You have your teaser, then you have your first trailer come in. And the first trailer kind of like has basic information. Make sure that all these characters are still alive. We're all set it up. Maybe you should introduce somebody new. Then the second trailer starts to show interesting plot details. And then the third trailer completely fucking ruins it by showing everything. So we're in the sweet spot of King of the like Turtles right now. The average sex life. Yeah, because the first time's okay. The second time you're getting interested. The third time you've tried it all. Yep. So um, I'm kind of enjoying being in the dark because I haven't seen any trailers related to the turtles. I do love the turtles. Have you seen the first? You've seen the first movie. I have not. Well, first the new Michael, the, the Michael Bay first movie. Oh no no, it's that, movie. everyone keeps doing Michael Bay's name. I know, it's this, and he's just a producer. It's just a producer, I know. Although to be fair, it's got all the looks and feels of Michael Bay. It's the same way a Tim Burton produced movie is a fucking Tim Burton movie, essentially, in a lot of ways. Well, yeah, fair enough. Fair like, Alice through, Alice through the Looking Glass is a Tim Burton produced movie. <laughs> so, um... Tim Burton. It's all Burton. Yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, this is the second, or, uh, teen, yeah, and it's, it's called Out of the Shadows. Which, um, is also a tie-in name for a game. There's, there's a game coming out by, for this. And it's made by the people that made Bayonetta uh, from uh, the Diamond. I do not remember. I, I do remember Bayonetta. Yeah, but uh, you know the game style, like that Spectacle Fighter? They're making a Spectacle Fighter game of it. They also made Transformers Devastation. Oh, Platinum, not Diamond. Platinum. Platinum games. But um, yeah, this is uh, this is the trailer that goes in with that tie-in. And I saw the trailer for saw the trailer for Out of the Shadows game, and I fucking amazed by it, and I was really excited for it. So I'm kind of hoping some of the more elements that are in this are going to be shown. So let's give it a quick look. Wait, so you've already seen this trailer? I, I've seen this trailer because I had, I had to pull it down from somewhere. Oh, um, I, I, I already knew it existed because of it. I know Seamus is in it. I'm looking forward to that. Seamus was like, I don't fight. Don't it, bro. It's the one out of the year where we fit in. <laughs> makes <more> sense. <laughs> what part of moving the shadows don't you understand? Well, then why do you guys wear masks? <laughs> <laughs> it's because their faces are fucking up. It was great about this. All this destruction is going on, uh, alien race and all that sort of thing. And uh, well, that was dark as uh, Batman vs Superman. Yeah, true. But I mean, that's the this, this movie is intentionally going a lot for a brighter palette and stuff. Like that because it feels so much more like the '80s cartoon show. Shamus. Well done for long. Over the movie, I. <laughs> you're a rhinoceros, and you're a. Oh, I'm a little piggy. <laughs> Zooey! Zooey! Yeah, he's, he's looking amazing as Casey. Casey Jones. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm sold on that. I'm sold on Abel as Casey Jones. If the purple ooze can turn humans into animals, it can turn animals into humans. Turn us. Oh. Yeah. Into humans. Oh shit. Yeah. Fuck. I'm taking a buzz. Make us humans. I actually I like it as a plot point though because they've done the mutation thing in the in the cartoon shows where they made them more mutated. They did it, but I think it's a while. Didn't the next mutation. Makes the voice nice. That's a great shot. It's like the fucking fist bump. Oh shit. Keep the team united. Keep the team united. So can you figure out what's going on with the Indian invasion? Succeed. Oh, it's uh, it's uh, Lord Zod, Superman. <laughs> yeah, it is it's Zod. It's exactly what it is. Uh, not any other intergalactic being that would be hanging around the turtles. I had that toy. <laughs> oh, Silver Surfer. Yes, the Silver Galactus and Silver Surfer. Yeah, exactly yeah. the heralds. I'm just gonna spite uh, fucking geek words or. Do you actually know, or are you just doing that for some reason? I'm just fucking weird. I was thinking maybe crying to make an invasion or something. That's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. It is crying. And now, that, and now that, you know, looking back to the crying from the TV show, that could easily be your costume. Hi, can I? Seems uh, bald. Uh, the problem is no beard. The, 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 your, you know, I'm not. I'm not losing the. Yeah, I'm not. But I'm not losing the beard. Yeah, I, mean, I wouldn't. Lose, I wouldn't lose it for. <laughs> it's, I, could, I could just do like some cover or cover over makeup. In fact, I could take a skull cap and put it on my chin. Right, like, that, I think that would work. Because that character didn't look like it had any chin, it would just cover it down to the neck. Pretty sure there was, you know, like a really tall bitter. But anyway, back <laughs> to the trailer, we got sidebarred there. But yeah, the, uh, what do you guys think? I mean, that's Team Ninja Turtles 2. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's goofier than the first one. Yeah. It seems to have set up the characters. In fact, if I was to recommend anybody, I'd say this, the second one is worth watching before seeing the first one. Like, the first one was a... 
bit of a hot mess in a lot of places. Yeah. Works just as well because I haven't seen the first one. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like you, you wouldn't even need to bother watching the first one. I get the feeling you could actually not see the first one and just Be go just see Just as this. informed. I don't enjoy know. it. I genuinely don't know why I didn't see the first one because I did love the turtles growing up. I even saw that newest one that came out back in, what was it, 2007 or something? The CGI one? Yeah. I actually like the CJ one with uh, Patrick Stewart as the villain. And Kevin Smith as well, wasn't it? Oh yeah, Kevin Smith was in the in the cafe like, whenever the wee yeah. monster. Like, take it, take everything! <laughs> oh, wait, that one? Yeah, oh. fuck, I've seen that. Yeah, I enjoyed that, that one. That so, one. I really liked that one because the Raphael Leonardo fight was really good in that. Do you, I, know, do you know what I think? Do you know what I think annoyed me? It's whenever, um, whenever Nickelodeon got uh, Ninja Turtles and then my friend's kid was talking about the Turtles and he had toys. I was like, so who's your favourite one? And he said, Leo. And I was like, oh, you mean Leonardo? I was like, no, Leo, because apparently they changed the names to jazz it up for the 21st century. <laughs> well, they, they said they, they're Leo, Raph, Mike, and I Don. I don't get that. That's or Donny, just. Because, you know, you know, back in the 80s. Because expi explaining that they're named after Renaissance painters is not exactly... It's, like it's, a, it's, a, it's a really horrible thing yeah. to drop from their character history. Well, the 21st century, now, so you have to say they're named after hashtag Renaissance readers or something like that. Mm. <laughs> hashtag Leonard and... And Michael. And what they did do is they actually like they started giving them much more distinct personalities rather than what like this they all looked the same and just had different bandanas. Like you notice it in this, like Raph looks like he's been pumping iron for, since the last one came out. He was big in the last movie. He's fucking insanely huge in this one. And Mikey still looks scrawny as hell, he looks tiny. Like so him and Donnie that's, are actually like the, the smaller of the that's four. Like the, that's all the pizza he's it's, eaten and Raph so it has a skip leg there. there. Instead of keeping their personalities, though, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense for them. I mean, Raph, Raph is the big bruiser of the whole bunch. Mm. And that's been the same since, like, the original, like, Turtles movie. Like, do you remember? The first Turtles movie, the actual, like, the live-action one, did you guys really enjoy that when it ever came out? Or did you get it? Did you, I like, did you, like, I thought it was fucking brilliant. <laughs> I loved them. It's just the fact that a lot of people remember, they don't remember that a good solid half of that entire movie was spent on a farm with no action, just chilling out with all the fucking Turtles while they watched Leo or Raphael recover from a fucking beatdown. Like, like, a good solid 20, 30 minutes of that film is just spent on a farm. I just remember being four or five and just loving it. Yeah, that's and, you know, you know, your, brain, your childhood brain completely eliminates that. And that's something they didn't do with the last movie, that they didn't give that breathing space of character to kind of let them be. I also remember when my brothers took me to the cinema to see it, and a trailer came on just before it for Jurassic Park, and I hid behind the chair and cried. <laughs> Giant turtles you're around with. Uh, dinosaurs, yeah. not so much. Lizards are okay if they're actually human sized. Yeah. So the raptors were okay, yeah? <laughs> but uh, no, I really. I, I'm, I'm, this is probably one of the ones, the one of the films, you know, you've got Civil War and you've got uh, Batman vs. Superman, you've got Suicide Squad, you've got Doctor Strange, you've got a whole bunch of films coming out this year. And, um, you know, Rogue One and Warcraft and the X Men and whatever else I can read off the top of the screen there. <laughs> You're and, just like uh, reading off the top of your mind. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to like, that's and well this, done, this, for actually keeping the list together. This might be the one where, well, to a point, I, I got stuck with uh, Warcraft. And this might be the one where I'll actually enjoy it maybe the most. Because it's more. It's, it's the, a nostalgia. It's, there's a massive nostalgia, nostalgia yeah, yeah. for us, so yeah. It's a, nostal it's a nostalgia hit. And if we're going to tie it back for nostalgia hits, Seamus, WWE uh, superstar, competitor, and wrestler in this. Zoom back to the originals, and you had Super Shredder, Super Shredder, being played by Kevin Nash. That's right. WCW the star one, yeah. at that time. I think he was in WCW. No, I was thinking. So there's a wee, there's always a wee kind of crossover. I think he was still Diesel at that point. Uh, I think he was still Diesel. He hadn't gone Big Daddy Cool. Yeah, it's kind of hateful. His animated version of himself had healthier quads than he did. <laughs> Well, the guy that he was, he, you never saw his face. He was only in it for like about two and a half minutes. Yeah, about that, give, yeah. give or take. And you really couldn't tell what's happening. But you know, when you're a kid, you couldn't really tell. But now that you're an adult, an adult, of course, here. So, yeah. all right, the the big thing, chat about uh, childhood versions of the characters. Bebop and Rocksteady. This is like this is a proper uh, reveal of Bebop and Rocksteady that you get to see and their they, creation. They've got this. They've got. They seem to have the right level of. Dumbness? Dumbness? <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think it was actually the right the right word you were looking for was they are fucking stupid. I was, I was going to say like comedic effect yeah. but they've got the right level of as dumbness as you put it and yeah. um, uh, because they, they were bumbling like, maybe bumbling would be the best thing for it. Yeah. They, were, they were always bumbling soldiers and um, I don't I don't see that I never thought of them as threatening in this but their design looks threatening because the warthog and the rhino look pretty goddamn threatening. Oh, just yeah. because the CGI is pretty good. Enough. There's a couple of bits in it that look a little bit dodgy, like the skin texture or something. But outside of that, it's actually really like I'm really excited to see them. I'm, I'm pretty sure in that As filler, is. that was them. One or at least one of those two, probably the rhino to be fair, trashing through. Sorry, traffic. 
after Stephen Amell. Yeah, as uh, Reckless. No, no really, I can't. Uh, there's no moment in my mind that springs out uh, for them doing that in the cartoon. No, they never were that destructive. They were never uh, actually that that capable. <laughs> yeah. But there's all, it's that one shot of actually like Donnie being yanked away as a cat as a rhino is riding a tank through the Whitewater Rapids and just like punching in the air like as he's shooting at them. It's like this is another one of those movies that I, of course it's gonna have a lot of dark scenes because it's gonna be night times and out of the shadows and stuff. But on the daytime season, it'll look amazing in three D as well. But I'm, again, it's, uh, for me, this is actually one of those big bombastic environments. Maybe this is this is not shitty shitty bang bangs, but it's uh, heady heady fist fists. <laughs> so, uh, like, are you pleased with that? You still need to see I fucking don't... doctors with your shitty shitty bang bangs and your <laughs> fucking whatever else is going on. <laughs> shitty shitty bang bangs. Boom yeah. boom bang bang is a boom genuine bang. genre though. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Do you not know? No, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> this, is an actual, this is an actual thing. Yes, yes it is. Okay. Uh, what are we <laughs> talking about? Or... Alright, but that's what I mean, like, um, the... Martial arts movies, like, essentially, because this is all CGI, this is just a bunch of CGI throwing itself against each other. Like, that's the reason why I'm happy to see Amel in this, because it's actually the only physical, the only person actually physically fighting in this entire movie. This is probably his easiest gig since Arrow, actually, because, like, um, apparently when he does Arrow, and then um, they have to do shots with him, his, his top, whatever, they have to give him, like, six days notice so he can, like, get rid of, you know, slightly rip, like, rip. So he can get rid of that 1% body fat yeah, and, like, and 16% body water. Yeah, but, like, him as Casey Jones in this is, uh, I don't know. Well, Casey Jones can be much more rough and ready. I actually like the redesign of the mask in this. Uh, it's, a, it's just, like, rather than just the traditional, like, Jason Hockey mask, it's a, it's a little bit more interesting looking. It's just a little developed. It looks more, to be honest, he looks more like Sauron. <laughs> He's kind of got that gritted face on him. Um, but, uh, what was I going to say? Um... I, th I, yeah, this is probably his easiest game because he seems to be fully clothed. He's fighting against CGI more than anything else. <laughs> well, that's Except for maybe some of the foot soldiers and probably some robbers This there. is the thing. Do you, there was no foot soldiers in the original movie. Remember they were all like guys toting guns and stuff? There was no ninjas in the original film. No. Oh. Th th we have ninjas now. We actually have Foot Clan. Okay. Well, that's yeah, a development. But well, it's we are in the UK, so we have heroes, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, so yeah, no yeah. Ninjas, there's no ninjas, only heroes, and Mikey uses a grappling hook. Yeah, Teenage Mutant Hero, Hero turtles. turtles. Heroes on the half shell. Not ninjas on the half shell. Nah. Fuck. Yeah. That, was, that was so stupid back in the day. Dude, that was all based around the fact that those weapons were easily mimicable. Yeah, okay. But Donnie could keep his bow staff, yep. which we all did with the broom handle. We snapped it off the damn thing and threw it around the house. Doesn't that guy have a sword? What? What? You, can you not, like, get a knife? But anyway, <laughs> fucking we digressed on that one. No, we didn't digress. <laughs> that, that, that's the history. Yeah, that's, that's a part of the history and nostalgia for over here. A, a, lot of Ameri a lot of Americans have no idea about that happening with us over here for the. Um, to be fair, a lot of Americans series? don't know a lot of. Uh, I'm not going to end. Oh, no. oh, well done. No. Well, well sidetracked. Uh, so, Splinter. Uh, Splinter yeah. as a master, like in the first movie, Splinter actually was, um, you didn't see it because, because you haven't seen the first one, but Splinter actually was, went hand to hand, fought w alongside the turtles in the first movie. Yep. Um, the one in this one, like the one scene that we have of him sitting down talking to Leo, he doesn't look as spry as he used to be. Yeah, it seems to be probably does collecting he, some sort does of Does he lose his ear in this one? Because that didn't happen in that last CGI movie. That he uses what? Remember, uh, losing his ear. Oh, losing his ear because there's a slice from Shredder. Yeah. Um, I think I, it, I spent the whole movie with that CGI one. And I was like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, because it was uh, that's uh, the CGI one was based on the 2004 animated series. It wasn't based on the original movies or the original comics. Which was slightly different. Watched. Yeah, the 2004 uh, animated series, and not CGI animated, but ordinary animated series. Uh, that movie continues off from the animated series of then, not the CGI series that was came after it. Yeah, it's, it's like, the canon for my, for the turtles is weird. But oh, yeah. I, I, because whenever I was good, I actually read all, I, because I didn't read the original Laird and Eastman, was it Laird and Eastman or Westman? Or something, something man. Uh, the original comic books, like the really old black and white ones, but whenever they started actually doing like the regular Tur Turtles comics, that's one of the earliest comics I ever actually bought and collected whenever I was a kid. And um, that's whenever they got on all their like bizarre adventures and stuff, that so, actually like traveling dimensions and all. Is there, any, is there any recommendation to actually watch the first one of this series? Or Honestly, the first one has so many, like at the last minute they reshot stuff, they edited around it and changed the villain so heavily that the first movie is very very hard to watch if you're looking for a like an overarching sensible plot like there's an entire part of it where the turtles fuck off and it's just about er, um Vern and april t trying to take down the bad guy for a good so, solid 10 minutes it's intercut between scenes with the turtles so no 
Is yeah. the answer we're going for? Uh, and, uh, on, on the long, the long, yeah. that was the long answer. Your answer is yeah. no. The no. first movie's not I mean, worth it, if, especially with this one. If you guys out there is. disagree, comment below. Mm. Go for it. Go buck wild. And why you think you should watch the first one? But yeah. and I'll just tell, and I'm just going to tell you you're all wrong. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, this really should just be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yep, and that's it. Doesn't need to be two or anything. It's well, because we already had the first one exist, so like this one, and out of the shadows, essentially means out of the dark, the dark depth of shiteness that the original one was. So um, I'm happy. I'm happy to see this trailer. One about also out of the series, just didn't test well with the. Audience. No, out of the series, they used. <laughs> no, there's a problem with out of the series because they actually did do that for one of the animated series, out of the series, and it was the worst animated series. Oh did. wow! Oh. They did that. It was like the seventh or eighth season of that 2002 series I was talking about, which came out after the CGI movie came out, and they called it out of the series. Or back, oh no, it was called Back to the Sewers, and it was fucking terrible. It was it, it really was it was like back it was like almost like a throwback to the nineteen eighties. Sell a version of the characters in a different costume every week so you could sell the toys. Ugh. Cartoon show. It was really really blatantly bad like that. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Which was it came after a series which was called Flash Forward, where they sent them in the future and gave them all techno weapons, so you had to buy a new set of weapons for all your toys. <laughs> Fuck no. Oh, oh totally marketing, totally marketing, motherfuckers! Totally wouldn't be about the merchandise. Merchandising, <laughs> space balls, a lunchbox. Plus, you space balls, a cereal. Plus, you mentioned earlier on you might have, you know, reservations about this film. Didn't need to see the first one, and you didn't see it because you weren't sure. That's probably because Michael Bay bastardized Transformers a little bit. I think a lot of people did feel that. Mm. That's a, this I, is the only year we're not going to have Transformers, are we? Right right there, I, think. Yeah. I, ha I have never really been a fan of Transformers full stop anyway. Cartoon series, movies, anything like growing up, it just never really interested me. <sighs> okay, I absolutely mm. love the 80s movie. The I 80s. just love the toys. The, the TV show when it was on, I enjoyed watching it, but it was never like, oh. The 1980s movies. movie was far, far too weird for what it was. Like, they, it, it was. Do you know whenever they try to do that marketing thing where they bring in toys and they bring in new toys to make you buy the new toys? <laughs> Instead of like just bringing in the new toys and introducing them to you. In the 1980s Transformers movie, they fucking murdered everyone in front of you. Like, literally you saw them getting shot through the chest and then them bleeding out of their mouths, smoking as they fell to the ground and their eyes went dim. And you're like, fuck! So in the cartoon series, about like a season afterwards, they literally had you, on, like they had the characters on a monolith that had all the dead bodies floating around in it as it was being fired into the sun. Like a whole Viking funeral kind of thing. I fucking wept openly as a child every time I fucking saw that episode or that fucking movie. It's like, that, that was harsh. Admittedly, it was designed around a marketing ploy, but it made the movie a little bit more intense and much darker and more threatening and probably had more wit than it really ever needed to be for a toy about a bunch of transforming robots. Comment below if you want to see Durham crime while watching that film. Fuck you! There could be a video that could be done. Nah, uh, fuck you. Yeah, I, I, st I still tear up. I still tear up watching Optimus Prime die in that. So whenever Michael Bay did it in the fucking live action movies, I was so fucking pissed off because they kind of did it in the background half and half while spending more time staring at fucking the beef. I was my, I did see the first three Transformer Michael Bay movies, but I more or less kind of got bullied into going and seeing them, and I just spent my time just thinking, why am I here? Why am I here? See the fourth one. See the fourth, the fourth one. one. Go on. No, go actually, on. The, actually, honestly, the fourth one is actually watchable. Online bullet. No, don't. Um, no, the, the fourth one is. Oh, the, it's got Mark Wahlberg in it. Yeah, the Mark actually... the, the fourth one, the Mark Wahlberg one, the fourth one actually makes more sense. They redesigned the robots so they actually look. See, whenever they're fighting. The biggest problem I had with those movies was that whenever they ran into each other, they literally, you couldn't tell which one was which, they just kind of fell, folded into a mesh of movement. The, the best comment I ever the heard thing, about you can any of the Transformers films, uh, if you hadn't seen them or they were, you saw them in their own order or whatever, in any of those fights were, it looked like two junkyards having sex. Yeah. Because you, you could not tell them apart. In the first three, you really couldn't. In the fourth one, you could tell a bit better. That was my problem with the second one, I think, when they were in Egypt or something, wasn't it? Aye, yeah. it's the yellow sand, and also the giant pendulous balls hanging from Devastator. Oh. Thank God we're not getting to see any yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja balls in this. Yeah, and, well, unless they turn well, human. And unless they turn human. They turn human, they'll actually like, they'll have a moment where Mikey's sitting there going, like, <gasps> and then cover his balls. Turn the balls. T teen teenage balls, no, no. Wow. Teenage no. mutant ninja balls, <laughs> teenage <laughs> mutant ninja that's, balls. That's your heroes in a half shell, giant cocks! That's a Jimmy Sandler movie. No, 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 no. <laughs> teenage 18, 19, above legal mutant ninja age, sort of 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, uh, and on that bombshell, folks. Jesus. Thank you very much. I'm going to let them just wallow in sickness. This movie looks good. I highly recommend it. So, go check it out. 
<laughs> with the late blue mask. God damn it! Yeah. <laughs> Alright, just feel that. Looks, looks good. I, I, I look forward to this. I'm gonna cry now. Wow, I forgot about that. Oh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching an episode of Here Again on Pisces Skin. This has been Hype Train. We will see you all in the next video. Bye bye. Bye.